Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Pixel and Frisket Finds. My name is Michelle, and this is a new episode of Come to Work With Me, a series on my channel where we go through the vintage inventory that I have here at the jewelry store where I work, and it helps me to pick out the, the winner winner chicken dinners so that when I have time to list on eBay, I know which ones to go for. Um, if you haven't already, click subscribe. That way we can hang out again. I'm uploading every Sunday morning at this point. So hopefully that jives with your schedule. Um, and if you click the little circle down here with the robots in love, then you're gonna, you're gonna go right to my channel and you'll find a bunch of playlists of other hauls I've done. So if you're just missing me between Sundays, then, then come, come hang out over here and check out the rest of it but don't forget to click subscribe and we're starting with the box oh yeah in the link the links in the description box below you're gonna find my email and eBay stores for the store as well as my own if you have any questions feel free to get in touch with me there so we're starting off with this box and I got to say she's heavy this is stuffed it's got to be stuffed let's see <gasps> Oh. oh my god this looks fun oh my god okay i'm taking it off screen so you can't see ahead of me what we're pulling out but this looks fun okay here's the first thing i'll pull out the most boring looking item first <laughs> this is just a nice little silver chain i don't know what that name is the name of that link would be i'm not sure but let's check the clasp for 925. It's a nice short length. I bet you that's a 16 inch 925. And it's nice and chunky. Like when you wear it, you're going to have, you're going to have uh, a good little flash of silver around your neck. Okay. Start it off with that one. Next up is uh, a pendant. Here it is. Now, I don't know what stone that is. It's in, uh, we're in like a copper or dark bronze metal with these swirlies and coils and suches. And that stone is interesting. It reminds me of some raw emerald that we have here actually, but I can't imagine that it is. Hopefully I can find something out about it and confirm what kind of stone it is. It's very heavy and cold and I don't know. I just don't know. Let's put you over there. Okay, next out of this little box of surprise is a pair of earrings, opal earrings. They are opal and gold tone ovals with a cabochon. And let's see if I can use my powers to figure out if it's real opal or not. I don't see a mark. And the fact that the post is not gold tells me that the earrings are not gold. But yeah, look at that. So you turn it to the side and you can see that it's a doublet. A doublet has, um, you know, a, a, a clear coating over the top. And a triplet would have like a black background behind it. So like the, the opal's actually sandwiched between the two. But you can tell turning it to the side that this is indeed a doublet. But that doesn't mean the opal beneath is not genuine. In fact, I would have to, I'd have to venture a guess that it is genuine, but, uh, but it is a doublet. Oof, get the back back on there. Hang on. Opal is my birthstone, and I do really like it. Not everybody likes their birthstone. As a child, I have to say, as a kid, I did not like my birthstone <laughs> very much at all. Um, but now that I've grown, I can completely appreciate an opal. That's for sure. Oh, look, there's a, in here there's also a bracelet to go with, with the, the chain there. Nice. Uh, okay, I'm going to bring these out. I, you know I'm saving that sparkly stuff for the last for last here because it's super awesome. <laughs> um, hmm, is there even stones there or is it just an illusion, Michael? 
No, oh, there's stones. And I'm looking for a mark. Oh, I think that says 925 there. I guess I'll power up the diamond tester. Yeah, it's like CA925. Let's see here. Test them out and see if they're diamond. They could very well be. While that is charging up for us to test, I'll pull out one of the other items here. This is kind of cool. It's another set necklace and bracelet. <gasps> That's neat. Oh. Oh, it's a little stars all the way. Okay, hang on. First, let's test this. And then we can check out the stars. Oh. So it's testing as moissanite because it's so tiny I can't just isolate the tip on the stone. Or they're moissanite. <laughs> I guess that's also an option. Hmm. If I can get one of them to test as just diamond, then, then I would be satisfied to say they are. Oh, it just, it, it's so small. You can't do it without getting it on a prong. Yeah. All right. Well, sterling silver and moissanite will go with that. And I'm satisfied with that. That's pretty great. Those are uh, a really nice, simple, simple earring. And uh, I think we could actually put them out in the store here. But let's go back to this. So it's all the way along these little stars dangling all the way around. I'm looking for the clasp. Where are you? Huh. No clasp? Oh no, there it is. Sorry. <laughs> oh no, that's just jump ring together. So perhaps it had a clasp, but it doesn't anymore. And then there's the bracelet to go with it. I think that's super cool. I like that. Let's check out the clasp of the bracelet. That should tell us a bit more. Hmm. Well, I think it's just played it anyway. Let's see with the magnet. Yeah, like the chain, <clears throat> the chain and and uh, the stars are all magnetic. So it's just plated or whatever, but it's, just, I don't know, it's tickling me. I really like it. Okay. All right, you guys, it's time. It's time now for this. Is it a full perer? No, it's not a full perer because it doesn't have a tiara. <laughs> But it's pretty darn close. It's everything but the crown, folks. So here, okay, we need to get into the light so we can see these colors more. Look at that. It is like this brilliant orange. It's almost electric. It's like a warm tone orange and dark peridot green. Those are my favorite colors. Ooh, they're so pretty. They are a post earring. And the back side of the earring looks like this. Oh, what do you say on the on the back here? Hang on. Stir. Sterling. So I wonder if it's probably just the backs that are sterling, but look at that. Here, let's zoom in for a nice look at it. Those colors are so beautiful. Hmm. Yes, I like this. I'm excited to show you the rest of it because we have a brooch, a bracelet, and a necklace for it still too. So what do you want first? Let's go bracelet. Here it is. Wow. Look at that. Hmm. Now, I know something about Juliana and the way that the back is 
is uh, put together here. And we're about to learn a bit more, or I am anyway, because the other things that I know about Juliana, um, well, aren't there. You know what I mean? So I don't know if it is or not, of course, but there's like this detail on the pieces that connect them. And that is so pretty. It's pretty chunky too. Look at how high off my wrist that sits. It's got a safety chain and it's a fold over clasp. So if you know anything about, I mean, is it Juliana or Juliana? Nah. Um, let me know what you know. Look how high these ones stick off. Hey, that is a chunky, chunky bracelet. I'm going to put the clasp on here. Lovely. Just lovely. Oof, that's fun. Okay, here is the brooch. Look at that. Oh, no! There's one missing. Oh my gosh, I'll never find one that matches that. Darn. Well, this is so spectacular. I would still list it even with the missing stone. And I'll be keeping my eyes peeled for an extra one. Or something that I could consider is taking one out of like the back end of the necklace that I'm about to show you. I might be able to do that and then put it there because uh, the back of the necklace is not as important as, well, the stem of the brooch. But look at that guy. Isn't that awesome? It's so beauty. Wow. That's too bad. Heartbreaking. But I'll, I'll still work with you. I'm willing to work with this guy. And then the necklace is like this. Hang on. I'm going to move you again. Here it is. Wow. <laughs> I love these bits coming off here. The, the Nevette Peridot pieces coming off of there is spectacular and it looks like a piece of fruit almost or some sort of plant life doesn't it let's zoom in on on the oops 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 necklace wow that's awesome sorry if uh you can hear me drooling the back of it is like this so, I don't know if we would consider any of that pooling. I've probably already eliminated the potential, potential Juliana, but wow, that's so cool. Uh, <laughs> I'm super in love. I don't know if you can tell, but this is kind of weird. It's got its little dingle dangle dongle. But then it's got a ring, a spring ring clasp. And that just doesn't make sense to me. I think you can kind of see that it's been replaced. But I think this is such a unique set that even with that, I would, uh, I would still list it. You know, let's move some things around a bit here make room for the star now star of the shoe there awesome Woo! i like that okay move on now michelle all right back to the bag we have this a little silver and probably gold for my um, Mary and Joseph. Oh no, sorry. <laughs> Mary and Jesus. I'm guessing. A couple of angels flying around and I don't know what these other things in the background are. There's a lot of detail on this and when we flip it around it's like I don't know what what would it have been like for a picture frame 
like if uh, you could put a photo in there i'm not really sure this is um this panel is kind of loose in there too so maybe that's just all it is is that that was put in there very pretty and ornate hmm I don't see a mark of any kind. Mm -hmm. But pretty cool. And next up is a brooch. And it looks like this. Ooh, it's like watermelon Rivoli, but you can kind of see a stripe in there in these. Like it's not quite watermelon Rivoli. See how it's striped? Huh. And then an emerald green. None of them are missing. So that's a win. And the back of it looks like this. Quite pretty. Oh man, everything is just going to pale in comparison for me now. That's it. I've, I've hit my top. I'll never find anything I think is as cool as this set. <laughs> That's what it kind of feels like. What are you? A bracelet. Now, at first I thought, is this a Lululemon bracelet? But definitely not. Um, it looks like that is a piece of shell. Let's get into the light a bit more here. Piece of shell. Or bone, maybe? It's hard to tell. I can kind of see some lines in there. Whoops! It's heavy. <laughs> Top heavy. Like, this This featured piece is weighty. And it comes apart here, and it hinges. Hmm. And it does have some marks. Let's see. Oh, upside down, of course, as usual. Sterling silver... So it was stamped twice, which is always kind of weird to me. Um, I was told that that could indicate like a low quality, but I don't know why. And that symbol is interesting. It's like like a flying capital A, I guess is how I might describe it. I have no idea what to make of the design on it, though. Huh. I guess I'll put you over here. Hopefully, maybe somebody out there knows. Help a girl out here. What the heck's that thing? <laughs> Here's another brooch. AB rhinestone. Aw, oh, with one missing. A big one. It's a cool design, though. Like a swoopy, leafy situation. And it has a mark. It just says Austria. Yeah. I suppose. Oh, we're missing one here, too. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, what the heck is this? A brass dog. <laughs> it is a brass Scottish Terrier, a little Scotty dog. He's nice and heavy, as brass would be. And he's three-dimensional all the way around. Aw. Pretty cute. People people love their dogs and someone out there will want a little brass scooty dog. Okay, actually I'll just move him right back there. Alright, and what the another dog? What does that say? Grey Friars Bobby. <laughs> this one appears to be in pewter. It's it's just as heavy for its size. And it says Grey Friars Bobby. Is that this? What kind of dog this is, I guess? I guess so. Oh, what's that? MW. And nothing on the bottom of it. But it feels heavy, like it could be pewter. All right, well, now we got to put these two dogs together. There we go. Move this stuff out of the way. <laughs> okay. And here's a brooch. Oh, a bug. It's a little bug with uh, blue topaz. Yeah. 
Wow. Little C clasp. So that's that's pretty old. And like small and simple areas on my fingertip, like not very big at all. Wow. That's pretty. I'm just trying to see. I thought I saw damage to the stone there. On the back side, maybe? Hmm. Hard to tell. I think it's a natural stone and that's why it looks like maybe something's wrong, but not really. Hmm. There you go. Cute. Oh my gosh, you guys. Another dog. What is this one? Pinkanese? Pinkanese? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. What does that say though? Raw Cliff Pewter, 1982. And it looks like P. Davis. Cute. This is the puppy bag, you guys. It's pretty heavy as well. Okay, now we got to move you back, move you over here, and you there. <laughs> They're all going to stare right at you. <laughs> okay, here's another brooch. This looks like Art Nouveau. Silver and open work. It has a, a rollover clasp. Oh, what did it say? Bond Void? Bond Boyd Sterling. I don't know if Bond Boyd was making stuff back in the Art Nouveau era, uh, but if they were, I would I wouldn't be surprised. This would be inspired by that era at least. Oh, look, another donkey, another Coro donkey. So I have three of these now. There was two in our last video, and now here's the third one. Ah. Uh, so we got Eeny, Meeny, Miny, and hopefully we can find Mo. <laughs> Maybe there's another donkey to be found here. And here, oh, oh, okay. Another one of these um, enamel brooches by Norn. Sterling silver C-class with a tube hinge, so they're quite old. And we had two of them in our last video. So hopefully I've got some information to pop up. And this is something different. It says SS Duchess of Bedford. So I wonder where that comes from. C clasp on the back. No marks. It's not the same technique as these ones. These ones have sort of a metallic swirliness behind it. And this is just, well, I don't know, ceramic maybe or porcelain that is. Perhaps, I think. But we'll see what we can find out about the Duchess of Bedford. Uh, here's a pair of earrings with maybe picture jasper. Some sort of a jasper. And they kind of scoop around like this under your earlobe. And let's see if there's a mark. They seem modern oh there there is a mark there karis hey okay. k-a-r-i-s is that what that says or is it carbs <laughs> or is it carl's no oh, i think karis and it says sts so sterling silver and the brand is karis huh I have not heard of that brand. They're interesting looking earrings uh, with this open work down here and filigree. Hopefully we can find out something about them. Oh, here is a crystal AB uh, reverse carved cameo. Or do you wear it this way? Oh, I suppose you probably do. <laughs> so on this side, it's smooth. And the carving is done into the back here. Into the crystal. Oh, that's fun to look at. I gotta say, it's very fun to look at. 
the faceting and the AB coating and it just looks like she's floating in there. Hey, interesting. Oof, that's really pretty. Move over Lululemon. There we go. Okay. Here's another little antique looking brooch. Not so much though with the rollover clasp, Michelle, but, uh, what does that say down there? The W M E G something, something. The W M F G. And then I don't know. And it looks like another piece of blue topaz. It's so small and cute. Oh, and it says something up here too. Sterling. Really cute. Look at that tarnish on there too. I don't dare polish this one. Whoever wants this one is going to want it just the way it is like that. All right. Where are we now? Well, cufflinks. I have a pair of cufflinks. Hang on here. Let me get myself sorted. Here we go. They have faces on them. Some sort of, I don't know. I'm not sure what to make of it. Hmm. Here's the back. What does that say? R-O-D? Oh, 800. So 80% silver. Huh. They're thin and they're lightweight. Not like a lot of the cufflinks I've found here. But um, they're pretty. They have a lot of detail. Cool. All right, what else is here beside me? Oh, cute a little snowflake earrings, a little screw back snowflakes with a light blue and clear rhinestone. Nice. Those are really nice. I have to remember them for next year at Christmas time, I guess. <laughs> Okay, and another pair of earrings, another screw back pair. And they look like this. With a light blue and a dark blue rhinestone on silver. No mark on that one or that one. Okay, there's one earring off on its own there. I'm going to wait on that, but I do have a little baggie. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, look at those colors just lighten up the scene, hey? Super cool. Okay, this is an AB rhinestone necklace. Really sort of small and simple. I like this, you know, little cluster in the front. There's a lot of pink going on in this AB. And here's the, the clasp. It's just a hook. Let's take a closer look at the hook because sometimes they manage to put the tiniest writing on there. Nothing there. And then the other end has just this little ball at the end. Again, this chain feels weird to me, but no, it's definitely original. And the back of this has, oh, there's a mark there. What does that say? Let me just see if I can wipe it up a little bit so I can read the thing. Call? K-A-H-L? I guess so. Hmm. 
I don't know that name either. Call. Hmm. Let's see what we can find out, I guess. All right. Should we do one more item? Just one more item. And it is a modern piece for sure. But look at this bracelet. That's pretty fun. It's a bit Swiss cheesy. But I think it's cool anyway. Hmm. It's a hinged clamper. And I don't see a name anywhere in here. Let's see. No, no name there. Interesting. All right. I think that's going to be it for today. We have some amazing stuff in here. I mean, the dogs alone. Come on. That was fun. And of course, I'm not going to mention it again, but. Oh. And another Coro donkey and some really nice, uh, like antique pieces as well. Um, yeah, good one. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, click subscribe. That way we can hang out and do this again. I'm uploading every Sunday and I'd love to see you there. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon.